You can sleep in your car, but you can't drive your house. Why would somebody pay a thousand dollars a month for a car payment? Do you have a thousand dollar car payment? Let us know in the comments what you think about a thousand dollars a month for a car payment. We'll talk about how car payments get so high and why that may not be so out of whack. According to Axios, thousand dollar car payments are very common now. Car payments look like mortgage payments. Well, that's not true. They look like what mortgage payments used to look like. Now mortgage payments are three thousand dollars, not one thousand because of the interest rates and the prices are higher. According to the article, 12% of buyers who finance their new vehicles in June have payments of at least $1,000. That's up from 7% in 21 and 4.6% in 2019. Look, that's double just in two and a half or three years. And we're talking about long-term loans. 36% of borrowers had loans 73 to 84 months. That's six, seven years. Gone are the days of three or four year car loans. It's because new car vehicle prices are averaging $47,000. So why are car payments that high? How do you get to $1,000 a month? Well, it's not that hard. If you want to calculate the payment on a motor vehicle, use the number two. Use a factor of two. What does that mean? Whatever you're borrowing, whatever the car costs, multiply that number times two and that's your car payment so if you have a fifty thousand dollar car times two is a hundred thousand take the first four numbers that's a thousand that's it you can figure out a car payment on any car very quickly if it's a twenty thousand dollar car times two four hundred dollar payment if it's a thirty thousand dollar car times two three thirty times two is six hundred that's an easy way to make an estimate of a car payment. Now, that's figuring about a 5% interest rate on a five-year loan. So if you're doing longer terms, the payment might be a little lower, or if the interest rate's higher, it might be a little higher. But an easy way to make a car payment is times two. Just multiply times two. So a thousand dollars a month really isn't that surprising if cars are fifty grand. A fifty thousand dollar car is going to have a thousand dollar car payment for five years. The question is now that's just the math part. That's not the right or wrong part. The question is is that right or wrong? Should you be spending a thousand dollars a month on a car payment? Well, in order to have a thousand dollars take home you probably need to make 1400 before taxes a month just for that car payment right that's 350 dollars a week just for your car payment that doesn't account for insurance gas taxes any other things that go into it for most people by the time you add up all the expense for a car a new car you could be talking two grand a month by the time you figure insurance, taxes, and gas for that car are close to it. It's a lot of money. How does that compare to a mortgage? Well, a mortgage payment on a house in 2017, an average house that was 200, 250,000 with a 3% mortgage, you could be a thousand dollars a month for a house a few years ago. Now you're probably gonna be $2,500 a month for a house. But in three short years, four short years, $1,000 went from buying you a house to live in to a car. That's a significant difference. What does that mean? Well, if you have an older car that has no car payment, you're saving a lot of money. You might be saving fifteen, twenty thousand 20000 a year. You might have to spend a little more on maintenance, but as long as it's a pretty reliable car, it may not be the worst thing in the world. What about if you have a car with an existing payment? that's three or four hundred or five hundred you might want to hang on to that car because when you trade it in to get a new car you could be facing a thousand dollars what are your thoughts we'd love to hear your comments about what is your reaction to seeing a thousand dollars a month have you shopped for a car lately have you seen thousand dollar car payments you know it used to be that you saw ads on tv and in the newspaper for car dealers advertising no money down 199 a month no money down 200 a month whatever for a car those days are gone. And they would have thousands of hundreds of cars on a lot. Now there's not cars on a lot. What most people say is that although there appears to be a steady stream of affluent consumers, 
most consumers, the new car market is growing increasingly out of reach. For most consumers, the new car market is out of reach. Same thing with houses. Who would have thought that a new car was out of reach for most consumers? That means used cars are the wave of the future. Maybe electric cars 